welcome back to my channel. My name is Khadija, if you didn't already know. Okay, I feel weird doing little intros because I haven't done one in a while. Our long-awaited four-year lock update. Look how long my hair is, y'all. It's long, okay? <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the update. Okay, so like I said, we are four years in. I'm a little bit late actually to the party because my four year of or anniversary was like the first week of June. Let me refresh your memories because people get confused with my lock journey. I have had two sets of locks. The first set of locks I started on my birthday, May 31st, 2018 with double strand twists. I was gonna semi freeform, but then a week later I decided to take them out and just completely freeform from scratch from my wash and go. Uh, you see, your girl took her twist out, right? Yeah, she, she done took the twist out. So two sets of locks. <laughs> this is a free form set, completely free form. I have so many new updates. I did not think I'd have this many updates because the last couple of years have been kind of the same other than me, you know, getting length and stuff like that. Nothing really changed. But this year from the last update, so many updates. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. So I guess we'll start off with like my lock structure and stuff and how it's changed. I've always complained about lint and buildup and stuff like that this year is no exception i still have so much build up part of it is just part of my locks now sometimes you can see the build up yeah i have a lot of build up also in year four i learned the importance of moisturizing my locks like seriously moisturizing my locks. I lost a lot of ends this year. I've had a lot of breakage and stuff like that with my locks this year due to not, I'm assuming, not having moisturized hair. <laughs> so I've really tried to come up with new concoctions and try to just figure out how to keep my locks moisturized because I do have, I think it's low porosity hair. So it's very difficult for water to penetrate my locks, even on like wash day and stuff like that. I have to soak my locks because I don't water does not get up in my locks okay I have some new Congos forming which I'm really excited about here in the front actually I because I don't separate or anything like, like I am completely free form these days if you guys have watched some of my previous updates in the very beginning of my lock journey when they first started to form into their own individual locks I was popping my locks at the roots separating them for those of you who don't know what that means at the very beginning for like the first few months once again they formed into their own but I haven't popped or separated my locks in I don't know how long so now I have quite a few Congos you I've showed you guys some in the past where are they I've had some Congos that I've showed you in the past that were like at the bottom but these Congos are like at my roots so they're fusing together my only wish <laughs> that I I wish my hair would do is like on the thinning locks because I do have some pretty tiny, tiny locks. I wish those would like conjoin to a thicker lock or something to make a thicker lock. But for some reason, my thick locks are combining and creating thicker locks. And I'm like, can you like do something with the baby locks, please? Cause I need help, okay? If you've noticed, I'm not really into lock sprinkles anymore. I do still have some at my at the tips of my locks, but I'm not really doing lock sprinkles. I'm just kind of letting them fall out. These are the same ones that I had like last year. I'm just kind of letting them fall out on their own and I probably will not be reapplying any new lock sprinkles just because I feel like that was also part of the damage to the ends of my locks. I lost a lot of ends <laughs> this year, which I'm kind of okay with just because I love the curly end look. These are all natural. Like I didn't comb them out. I didn't do anything other than let the end, either I cut the ends off because it looked crazy or I let them fall out on their own. But yeah, the curls that you see at the bottom of my locks are completely natural. They did it on its own just for me losing the ends of my locks and stuff like that. So yes, I've had breakage. 
advantage of had thinning and lack of moisture in my hair this last year. Again, every year, especially in the summertime, my hair tends to lighten. So I have some really cool highlights going on. Some of them are because of the sun and some of it is buildup, but I really do love my natural lock color. Last year, I was really contemplating on coloring my locks. I have no desire to do that anymore. I absolutely love just my natural lock color these days. So yeah, I'll probably just keep it that way. <laughs> I, did, I haven't measured my hair. Maybe I'll get off the measuring tape and measure my hair. But yeah, my hair is not quite where I thought it would be last year. Last year I stated I thought it would be booty link this year. I look forward to even more growth. Like I said, next summer I just know my hair gonna be booty link. Not quite, but we're almost there. We are almost booty length, but my hair is definitely down to like waist length, definitely. I'm at the point now where I kind of miss my pineapple days. I miss my short lock days because my hair be getting into everything. <laughs> and that's why I normally keep it in the bonnet or keep it up and covered because I can't do nothing without my locks getting in the way. I've gotten it stuck in food. I've got it when you go to the bathroom, you know, I gotta be careful where my hair is. You have, you definitely have to be very cautious when your hair gets longer because it gets into everything. What am I supposed, I mean, how am I gonna, I can't even, there's nothing left for me. Ah. Oh I've seen them TikToks where people be like, I thought it was a bug on me or something, but it was just my, like, so many times my locks have scared me. <laughs> so yes, don't get me wrong. I love having my long locks, but I definitely miss having shorter locks. So cherish every, I always say this, but cherish every stage of your locks because that'll be the last time you experience that stage. You won't, like once you get past the starter lock phase and stuff like that, the ugly phase, I, I don't really like that term, but <laughs> once you get past that phase, like you're gonna miss some of the styles and the things that you could do with your hair because you, I can't do some of them things with how long my hair is anymore. And like I said, my hair gets into everything. Like I, majority of the time I keep it covered. As far as maintenance goes, I have changed like products and stuff that I've used, but I still keep it very simple. I don't really style my hair very often. And when I do, I stick to the same styles. I, yeah, I don't really switch it up a whole lot. I love my braid outs two to three times a year, but I don't do it very often just because of the breakage and, and stuff like that. So yeah, very minimal styling. Sometimes I don't style, maybe I may style my hair like a couple times a month or like if I'm really on the go. Most of the time I work for home or I'm in the house so I keep it in the bonnet like I don't do anything to my hair or I'll wear it like this like I just wear it down I do the middle part or to the side swoop it whatever wear a bandana or a hat but I don't really like to tie my locks anymore I don't like to use hair ties rubber bands bobby pins, anything of that nature in my hair. I did have a wedding this summer in June, so I did style my hair pretty tediously for that. Like I had worn my braid out, well the braids, in my hair for like a week and a half before the wedding. And then the day before the wedding, we had beach day. <laughs> so I had already taken the braid out out and was rocking like the curly locks. So when we went to the beach, obviously they went back straight. So I redid my braids the night before the wedding took them out again and then styled my hair for the wedding using bobby pins and stuff so that's probably the most styling I've done to my hair all year and I think that's the only braid out I've done this year I haven't done any more braid outs or anything like that just very simple I still do two ACV rinses a year but I have I should have filmed my last ACV rinse because I already did my second one for the year my first one for the year I don't know, my summer <laughs> ACV rinse that I normally do, I have already done that right after my four year anniversary. And I have switched it up a little bit. I don't quite do it the same way that you've seen in my previous ACV rinse videos and stuff like that. I actually pour like the baking soda and the ACV, the apple cider vinegar, like directly onto my locks if that makes sense. Like I'll put the powder, the baking soda and stuff on my hair, like coat my hair with it and then pour the ACV rinse to activate it over it. So I think that penetrates my locks a little bit more. But again, I still have buildup. Like it don't matter what I do, like it's just part of my locks now. So 
it is what it is. Some days it irritates me and I like want to cut it off and start over, but it is what it is. It's just a part of my locks. It doesn't really bother me a whole lot unless I'm really looking up close at it. It's just a part of the journey. So yeah, like I said, I do like one in the winter, one in the summertime, two maximum rinses a year. I've been cool with that. <laughs> as far as wash days go, I don't have a set wash day. I really just listen to my hair. <laughs> I try to do it like, once or twice a month. Sometimes I go over a month. Like just whenever I listen, I literally listen to my hair. Whenever my hair needs to be washed, I will wash it. And it also depends on like my lifestyle. My lifestyle changes a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I'm very active. I'm into fitness and dance and yoga, Pilates pole dance, like I do a lot of activities. <laughs> so if I'm sweating a lot or I'm really active or swimming a lot in the pool, whatever, then I may try to wash my hair more than usual. But if I'm not as active, then I don't really have to wash my hair. But again, I just listen to what my hair needs. When it tells me I need to wash, I will wash it. When my scalp gets itchy, I will wash it. When I see hella dog hair and dry brushing is just not working, I will wash it. Yeah, just listen to your hair. Every wash day I do do a hot oil treatment. I just did one yesterday actually. So yeah, every wash day I do a hot oil treatment and I don't rinse it out just because of how hard it is to keep my hair moisturized. I will leave the hot oil treatment in my hair. I tend to oil my hair maybe every other day, every few days, but I moisturize with my little water concoction, which I will get into my new concoctions and products that I use here in a minute. But I tend to moisturize with water and stuff like that like every day if possible if I don't I just keep it covered keep it in a bonnet but if I take my bonnet off or whatever I will most likely be just spritzing my hair I still air dry I don't have any issues with air drying my hair doesn't take all day to dry it only takes like a few hours if that so yeah the only time I use a dryer of any sort is when I'm literally doing my hot oil treatment during wash days and I just do that to seal in the moisture and I put like a shower cap on put my hooded bonnet on and then use the blow dryer to you know make it steamy up in there so my current products that I'm using now for shampoo and wash days and stuff like that I still use Dr. Bronner's but uh, I use that for my second because I do wash my hair twice when I wash my hair so for my first wash I am using free the roots it's their bar with sea moss and stuff like that I again I will link it I do use free the roots bar soap for my first wash and I don't actually Actually, you're not supposed to I see it all the time people actually like use the bar and scrub their hair you're not supposed to do that don't do that <laughs> that will cause more buildup in your hair so that's why I wash it twice uh, so I'll get it sudsy in my hand or whatever and then just wash my roots in the nape of my neck with the free the roots bar soap and then I go in with my second wash with the dr. Bronner's how I've always used it diluted with water and stuff so yeah I will go in with my dr. Bronner's for the second wash and yeah that's kind Kind of how I switched up my products for wash day as far as how I keep my hair moisturized and stuff I change my oils out all the time like I'm never really using the same oils but I do use lightweight oils nothing that's too heavy or anything like that I don't even use like castor oil or anything just I couldn't even tell you what's in my <laughs> my oil bottle right now it's a bunch of different oils but it's a mixture of essential oils and carrier oils and stuff like that so that's what I use for my oil as for my little moisture moisturizing concoction I no longer do the water rose water and oil mixture what I do now is I'll do like maybe two quarters of distilled water so I'll do that and then I do just maybe not even a quarter but like just a little bit because you can do like a protein overload I will go in with some aloe vera juice and I put just a little bit of that in there and then I top the rest off with some rose water and that's all I use in my spray bottle so I like to, when I'm actually moisturizing my hair I like to spritz you know with my water concoction and then I'll seal it with my oil but I don't do that every day I do that like I said every other day every couple days whatever then I will go in and use oil but I do try to use the water mixture at least every day if I can and that's really the only thing I've changed up as far as dry brushing goes I may do that once or twice a week I don't do it very often I just like I said if I see 
an overabundance of dog hair or something like that, then I will dry brush or even when I am doing, when I'm sealing with my oil, then I will sometimes go in with my dry brush and try to seal it in even more. But if I just spritz it, like today, all I did was spritz it with my water concoction and I didn't use my dry brush. I just let the water sit on top of my locks and kind of squeezed it and tried to rub it in a little bit. But yeah, I don't really brush my hair often. Once or twice a week, if that. So what's next for my locks? I still, at some point in my life, would love to do finger waves or something like that. I think that'd be really cute, but I love this journey. I'm not tired of it yet. I I do have my days where I hate looking at buildup if I'm looking too close, you know, like I said before, but there's nothing I would really change about my journey. I love where I'm at. I still wanna see how long my hair can get, how much growth, you know, and unless I'm called to like cut off my locks or comb them out or whatever, they're here to stay and <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. So I, you know, this will be my style up until I'm called to change it up, but I don't feel that right now. So here we are. Uh, like I said, I have no desire to like color or play with color in my hair anymore. If I do want to play with color, I'll throw a wig on. It's very rare, rare if I, I don't even know the last time I wore a wig. What? Oh, I wore a wig for my birthday. That's what I did my birthday photo shoot I wore a wig so you know every now and then I'll switch it up but it's rare I just I love my natural color I love how my locks look on their own like I don't really switch it up a whole lot anymore like I used to I just I be rocking my locks as is like this or in a bonnet <laughs> so yeah I, I would love to see my hair touch booty length before I make any changes if I ever do make any changes but so that's kind of my only like hair goal I guess but as far as videos go or anything like that pertaining to my locks let me know what you guys want to see if you guys have any questions about my locks or my lock journey you know let me know because I really don't know what you guys want to see I know everybody loves my lock updates that's a very popular video on this channel <laughs> But yeah, I don't do a whole lot to my hair, so. And I'm freeform. People always ask, who does your locks? How do you maintain them? I, I don't. <laughs> I literally did a wash and go in my hair and this is what happened. So I don't, I don't retwist. I don't, I don't maintain my stuff. I keep it moisturized and clean. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, that's really it, I think, for this update. Like I said, if you have any questions about my journey, let me know. If you want any advice, let me know. If you want a special video, let me know. But yeah, I don't really be, I don't be playing in styles and stuff like that anymore. I don't, I really, I'm boring, y'all. Like, I don't do nothing. Like I said, I keep it washed cleaned and moisturized in the SE. So yeah, uh, I guess that's it for this update. I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you guys.